Hey guys, so I just finished building my custom uh, roof rack and I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Alright guys, so here are the parts that I'll be using for the roof rack. Okay, so these are the aluminum extrusions that I ordered from T-Nuts. Okay, I'll put the link and everything in the description below. Um, so I ended up getting um, five of these. So there's four and then this one here. So I got f uh, five of them. You can get more if you want. That's, that's really personal uh, choice. And then it came with this hardware here. Okay. And then I ordered these um, mounting feet. Um, I just painted them black because they were just uh, like silver or aluminum color. So I painted them black, so they're just drying right now. Um, I ordered these from Sherpa Equipment. Again, I'll link everything in the description below. You don't have to use those mounting feet. You could get creative and just make your own, um, but I got those and I figured it would be easier. All right, and then those mounting feet came with all of this hardware here. So the very first step, um, I've already got one in there, but basically take this, I think it's called a T-nut. You can either just uh, slide it in through there or you can just um, just put it on, on an angle like so, push it in and you're good to go. All right, so I've gotten two on this side and two on this side. So next step, we're gonna grab one of our mounting feet. So that's what it looks like. All right, if you're curious, I used this easy liner stuff on it. It's like a bed liner. Um, yeah, whatever, doesn't really matter. This goes on um, like that. So you would just line up all the holes and then you're gonna use um, one of these bolts to tighten it in place. And you wanna just keep it a little bit loose so you can actually slide it and adjust it. All right, so that's in place. All right, guys, so on the roof of the truck, um, it's got the factory um, roof rails, right, with the roof rack. So I've gone ahead and already taken it apart. So there's two main crossbars that you need to take apart. And then there's, I believe, like, I don't know, four or five of these, which I also took off. And I just kept one in the middle just, you know, just to keep it kind of sturdy. Uh, and then there are these sliding uh, things here. There's one, two, uh, there's five total. And you need a total of four to actually mount these. So that leaves you one extra, which is what I'm using for this one. Okay, so I got two on that uh, corner and two on that corner. And that's what's gonna be holding this in place. Uh, and that's gonna be basically the main support for the whole rack. So we're gonna go ahead and just put this on. Uh, line it up and get it screwed in. And again, I'm not gonna tighten these up too too much. Um, I want to be able to slide them around and adjust them, um, just so I can center center it properly um, later. And then once it's all uh, perfect, then I can actually tighten it down. So that's in place. So we're gonna just go and do that. Do the other side now. All right, so again, exact same thing. We're just gonna line it up over the holes and put a couple bolts in just to secure it in place. All right, so we have our first crossbar in. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna have one more of these. Exact same thing, just on the very end of the uh, factory track, so right there. As you can see, um, so the one's gonna be at the very end, obviously. And then this one, it's, I'd say, a little more than halfway on the truck. So like once it's all done and I have my rooftop tent on there, um, that those two are gonna be the main support pieces. I mean, that's basically what's holding the whole roof rack to the to the full runner, right? So um, that's pretty good. And then for the front, um, I'll show you guys when we get there, but I do have some adjustable mounting feet. Um, so that's going to provide a little bit of support as well. But those two, they're the main uh, mounting points. So we have both of our crossbars in place. So from here, I just need to make the side plates that basically come up to here. And then it's just going to kind of follow the profile of the roof. 
and then we're gonna have a couple more crossbars and then of course the wind fairing all right guys so i just went and picked up this metal here um it's 3 16 thick uh, aluminum so this is the longest piece of cardboard i could find i'm basically just cutting out um like a template i'm gonna tape it on to the crossbars there and get it done and then just transfer it over to the metal Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So I didn't have, my cardboard's not super long, so I'm gonna have to make another piece uh, for the front half. All right, so I got my cardboard template all cut out. So I'm just basically transferring it onto my aluminum, marking it out, and then I'm gonna start cutting the metal. So I got my first two holes drilled. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, show you guys how I marked out the holes to know exactly where to uh, drill. So what I did was um, I just got some uh, tape. Okay, I put it right over the uh, crossbar, and as you can see, it's kind of see-through. See, so I already have it marked out. So I just put it on there, you know, uh, outlined it, marked out my holes. And that's what I'm using for, for like a template. So um, I got my first two holes drilled. I, I gotta do two more on the other end and then I can actually mount this and see what it looks like. All right, so moment of truth. I'm gonna put it up with just a couple screws and see how it looks. This would be much easier if there was two people, um, but it is what it is. All right, that looks pretty good. So yeah, pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I gotta get it painted though. Um, I'm gonna sand it down a little bit, primer and paint. And then once it's dry, I can pretty much uh, put it on. All right, so this is the first piece. It's um, somewhat ready. So I cut a little shape there and then the front okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this new piece put the other one on top of it basically trace it and get that cut All right, so we're making good progress. I got my last cross part to put on, which is gonna be right here near the front. Now, um, again, I got these from Sherpa Equipment, and this is the like the two-piece front mount. Because the factory track doesn't go all the way to the front, uh, they made this adjustable uh, mount, so it basically goes like this, and you can adjust it up and down. It's got a rubber bottom here, so it's gonna you know adjust it where there's a good amount of pressure from on the rubber on the roof. So that's gonna kind of keep it sturdy. So I'm gonna put this together, it came with the hardware, and then this is gonna be like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and then I can get the last piece mounted. All right, so that's what it looks like there. And as you can see, you can adjust it up and down. All right guys, so making really good progress. So it's time for the, the front piece, the wind fairing. Um, I've got my, I, I have my crossbar here, right? I have it 3 16 back from the edge of this, like right there, just so when the uh, fairing sits here, it'll be nice and flush with, with this. So what I did was I just put this tape here, okay? And I've made a line every four inches. From each line, I measured from the top of the crossbar down to where it makes contact on the roof of the vehicle. Okay, and I did that all along. 
and I transferred that over to this. It's like some thick uh, like particle board or whatever. I don't know what it's called. Um, I had it laying around. So anyway, I transferred it onto this. You can kind of see my lines every four inches. Uh, I made a like every one inch at the end, did the best I could, and that's what I have. So when I put it up here, it's hard to do this with one hand, but it does match up pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this as my template. I have my a piece of aluminum right here. So I'm just gonna put this right here and I'm gonna basically trace it and get it cut and hopefully it's gonna be perfect. I also got this today from Amazon. It's just like the weather stripping uh, that I'm gonna be putting on the edge of the wind fairing. It's a little bit thinner than I was expecting, so I don't know, hopefully it'll work, but if not, I can always return it and just get something better. All right guys, so I just got it cut out, so I'm, I'm hoping this is gonna be bang on because I, I really don't want to mess around with it, so let's give it a try. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good. All right guys, so probably the part that I hate most, so I gotta take this all off and start grinding, uh, prepping it for the primer and paint. So I'm gonna get started. We'll see if I can get a coat of primer on it tonight. Um, but if not, it's, it's getting pretty late, so I might just sand it all and prep it, and then tomorrow morning, um, put a coat of primer. <laughs> All right guys, so um, it's that time. I'm gonna start priming and painting. So um, I kind of jigged up a little, you know, way to hang these uh, side rails. I, I had some snare wire that I'm using to hang them. Um, so anyway, this is what I'm gonna use at first. It's a black one-step automotive self-etch primer from uh, Dominion Sure Seal. I really like this uh, brand. So I'm gonna use that, uh, a couple coats of this um, to prime and then it's gonna be, as usual, the easy liner. I really like this stuff. Uh, this is what I used on my grill. It's got a nice kind of a rough texture, so I'll use that to finish off. But for now, let's get the primer. All right, guys, so as you can see, I got my holes drilled in. So I ended up installing pretty much the whole rack on the Forerunner um, just so I can mark those out. And now, uh, now that with, now that I got the holes in place, I'm just actually um, painting it or bedlining it, whatever. So this is again, this is the stuff that I'm using here. Okay, so I just got one coat on there, one coat on these ones. It says on the bottle to wait uh, like 10 minutes in between coats and it's been about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my second coat on. So it's all complete now, so I'm just going to start installing it and, uh, and we'll be all done. Alright guys, got my last piece, the wind fairing. So you can see, put the weather stripping on, turned out pretty good, so I'm going to get this installed. Alright guys, so thanks a lot for watching. I hope you really enjoyed that. So as you can see, I got my rooftop tent back on. Um, it held up great. I actually went on a like a five day camping trip with my wife and my dog and it was great. It was amazing on the highway. I didn't hear anything. My gas mileage, I don't think it really was affected at all. If it was, maybe very little, but um, I was still getting pretty good gas mileage. Um, yeah, the wind fairing, no noise at all. Like I'm, I'm very happy. I was doing about 120 kilometers an hour on the highway. Uh, no noise or anything and it held up great uh, it wasn't rattling nothing like that um, we did do a little bit of off-roading as well and again no problems at all i hope you enjoyed it i'll give you guys a closer look right now so here is the finished product um the the weather stripping i was worried but as you can see it's actually pretty nice i am happy with it um, the bed liner it dried up really nice Looks pretty good. And we'll go to the other side. So 
So yeah, all in all, I'm very happy with it. Um, you can kind of see the back here. You can see how right over there, you can see how my um, rooftop tent is mounted. All right, so thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed that and I'll see you in the next video.